This video is going to look at how to find the area of a bounded region. So we are going to sketch the region bounded by the graphs of y equals x squared plus 3, a parabola shifted 3 units up, y equals x, x equals negative 2, and x equals 2. And then we're going to find the area of that region. So when I'm drawing the diagram, I think uh, first I like to find where the curves intersect. So if you think about this parabola, which I'll just do a quick sketch of here, the parabola is shifted three units up. It looks like this. And then, of course, the line y equals x is a line through the origin with a slope of 1. It doesn't look like those are ever going to intersect. You could check algebraically by setting the y's equal to each other, setting x cubed plus 3 minus equal to x, and you will see that there is no solution to this equation. You could do that using the quadratic formula, but these never intersect which tells me that x equals 2 and x equals negative 2 are going to be my boundaries. So when x equals negative 2, um, let's call this y1 and let's call this y2. When x equals negative 2 or 2, y1, my parabola, is if I plug that in for x, I'm going to get 4 plus 3, or 7. So on the parabola, I'm going to have the points negative 2, 7, and 2, 7. On the line, well, y equals x. So for the line, when x is negative 2, y is negative 2. When x is 2, y is 2. So this gives me four points that's going to help me easily draw my graph. Okay, so I'm going to set up my graph. My x-axis needs to go from negative 2 to 2. My y-axis, the lowest number I see in my y values is negative 2. The biggest number I see is 7. So my y-axis needs to go at least from negative 2 to 7. Okay, so let's get a sketch going here. Uh, let's go like this. Okay. And let's plot some points. Uh, so we'll call this negative 2 to 2 and negative 2 to 7. Okay. So the parabola, that's going to be 0, 3. 2, 7, and negative 2, 7. The parabola is going to look like this. Okay? That's 2, 7. That's negative 2, 7. The line goes through the points negative 2, negative 2, and 2, 2. And you can see the line is a line through the origin like that. Having those points made it really quick and easy for me to draw this graph. Then I also need the lines x equals negative 2. This is x equals negative 2, vertical line where x is negative 2 and x is 2, vertical line where x is 2. Okay, this was y equals x, and this parabola is y equals x squared plus 3. All right, so let me just sort of reiterate what I've drawn here. The parabola is here. That's y equals x squared plus 3. The line y equals x is there. Okay, And then my vertical lines 
uh, are right here. X equals 2 and X equals negative 2. And it's nice when you kind of color code them there, you can see there is only one region, one area that is enclosed by those four lines. And that one region is right here. Okay, so that is the region for which I want to find the area. Okay, so as we know, um, when you're finding area, you're going to do an integral of the top curve minus the bottom curve. And so when I say what's on top and what's on bottom, if I draw a vertical slice of my region, no matter where I draw that vertical slice, on top is my parabola, and on the bottom is the line y equals x. And my, my slices, when I draw my slices, they start on the left, moving from left to right, from lower to higher x values. They start where x is negative 2, my slices, start way over here, and then they go all the way over to where x is 2. So those are my limits of integration. So my integral is going to go from negative 2 to 2. And it's the curve on top, the parabola, so x squared plus 3 minus the curve on the bottom, which is the line, x. And that's the hardest part, getting the graph drawn and setting up the integral. All right, now the easy part is just integrating. x squared integrates to 1 third x cubed. 3 integrates to 3x. And x in integrates to 1 half x squared. I'm going to evaluate that from negative 2 to 2. When I plug a 2 in, I get 2 cubed over 3, 8 over 3 plus 6 minus 4 over 2. When I plug a negative 2 in, let's be careful with our signs here, negative 2 cubed is negative 8, so negative 8 thirds, that's going to give me a minus 6, and this is going to be 4 over 2, so minus 2. So I'm going to have 8 thirds plus a 4, that's, let's make that a 4, plus 8 thirds, and then minus 8 is going to become a plus 8. So I have 16 thirds plus uh, 12, or 16 thirds plus 36 thirds which is going to give me 52 over 3. Is that right? 30, 40, 52 over 3 units squared. And that is the area of my shaded region. So again, you want to um, carefully sketch the graph. Find intersection points if there are any. Otherwise, find points on the boundaries of your region. Set up an integral, the curve on top minus the curve on bottom, and then carefully integrate.